Hey, Robert with Sidestep Adventures, and I'm about to show you something. You may be wondering why I'm vesting up. Well, down here in the Chattahoochee River where we are today, um, you have to wear a life vest if you're gonna go in the riverbed. I'm not getting in the water, but even if you get anywhere near the riverbed, you have to have a life jacket on. So, safety first, although that's the law, so also legal legal matters first too. But I'm going to show you something pretty cool down here in the riverbed that we're going to poke around and see if we can find anything cool. Come on, let's go. Do you see it? Hello, Mr. Crawl Dad. So after a little distraction by crawdads, I figured we'd get to it, what I wanted to show you. And the sun's in a bad place right now, so let me see, can I shield it any? No. Um, but you see the structure right here. This is just sticking in the river. And I'll probably get up on the bridge so you can see it from up top. But we'll walk up on it right now. This was, if I can watch my step, this was actually a dam. Uh, it's post-Civil War dam. Um, oh, sorry about all the moaning and grunting there. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was. Uh, but anyway, this is a post-Civil War dam. It was actually a water diversion. Um, it would take the water from the main channel over there, and it would divert it over to this side. It would divert it down to feed the mill that's down there. Of course, that mill is now apartments. You can kind of see it under that bridge. And I've never noticed this before. Of course, it was always here. You know, I don't know if they recently blew up the dam down there for the whole whitewater rafting thing. Um, so I don't know if this had been underwater the entire time and it's only now become visible but I've never noticed it before I noticed it uh, a couple years ago after they blew the dam and I don't know if that's just because I hadn't come down here or if it was underwater I don't remember but it's pretty cool just big old stone pile in the river and that's what it was used for down there you can see a big old wooden beam I think that's wood. Looks like it's got a spike sticking out of it. Now that could have actually been before the dam was here. It could have just been washed up here and gotten stuck. We'll see if we can get on that side and take a look. I just, oh, there's a path down over there. So some other people came down here from off the river walk. And they're not wearing life jackets. And so the law states that if you're anywhere in the riverbed, and I probably said this in the intro, but if you're anywhere in the riverbed, you have to have a life jacket on or you're going to get a ticket. And I didn't want a ticket. But. And the reason for that is because this river um, has actually killed a lot of people this year. Um, it's got a bad underflow. Undercurrent, I think it is called properly. Sorry, I'm kind of watching my step here. These, oh my, my exploring boots have about had it. But anyway, uh, the river's got a really bad underflow and it's killed a lot of people this year. A lot of people who don't know the dangers of the river uh, come down here and get in it. And none of them had, had a uh, personal flotation device on and all were found dead. And so the city enforced this ordinance that they've had for a while. I guess they've had it for a while. I don't think they just put it, I think they just started enforcing it. Um, that if you're caught out here without a life vest, you're getting a ticket, so. Let's take a look at this piece of wood over here. See this, 
I don't know if this went with the dam or not. I don't think it did. This probably came out of one of the mills that, or dams that got destroyed, but I think these are square nails in here. That's what it looks like. I can, yeah, those are square nails in there. So this is probably from, this could either be from one of the mills that was destroyed during the uh, Civil War. It could be from one of the dams that they destroyed too, I don't know. I, I don't think it's from this one. It could be. I could be terribly mistaken. But I think it just kind of got washed up here and stuck up here. There's another one too, so it could be from this, this dam. You can see it a little bit better over here. Look at this piece of iron sticking out of the rock here. See a lot of that down here. What'd you find? Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Check this out. I didn't know I was going to need a flashlight. Looks like there's a door in here. Let's go in. I mean, I'm sure it's just part of the mill or the dam construction. That is cool. I didn't know this was in here. This is the first time I've been on this side of it. I've only seen it from the river walls before. I know, I know. I really need to invest in a proper flashlight. That's cool. Wonder what's on the other side. It's probably just the I don't think it's a secret passage. I think it's just the that wood looks, well these nails, these are round nails, so it's definitely post-1880 and it looks pretty new to me, actually. Oh, that's really new. So that could have been done. Well, I was going to say it could have been done to help stabilize this. But for one, I don't think anybody's in the business of stabilizing it. And maybe it was done to block the water or something. I don't know. That's pretty cool. You can see where they drilled this rock to blast it. Cool. Let me get out of here. That's a pretty cool little space. Didn't know that was here. Cool. Let me show you this. This is where they, there's another hole like I showed you in there, um, where they drilled the rock to blast it. You can see one there too. Here's another, another one of these doors here. They're not doors, little entranceways, passages. That's cool. Yeah, I think this was done to block the water flow. Let's see, could you see something up in this crack? You probably won't be able to see it. That. That's just another rock. Oh, cool. See, another thing I was telling you about is looking in these cracks, see if Confederate gold's hidden up there. There's all sorts of metal in these rocks. That could be a drill bit, I guess. Broke off. They were trying to drill it, I don't know about that. They don't know. Thought we'd come over here and I'd show you the river.
didn't even notice this the first time we were over here. Looks like a piece of uh, railroad. Yep. Do you believe that's what that is? There's a railroad bridge right up there. Should have said a piece of rail, not a piece of railroad. But you know what I meant. And I think that's definitely what these holes are in the side. I think it was water passages that have been blocked up. As you can see, there's still water trying to come through them. Still neat though. Neat little cave. I didn't know it was here. All right, but you've already seen it. You don't want to see it again. So there's another bit of information. That bridge behind me, back in 1865, that bridge, well, not that bridge, but the original bridge, it was a wooden bridge and it's where the last land battle of the Civil War was fought. And John Pemberton, who created Coca-Cola, he was actually stabbed on that bridge. He was Confederate general, and he was injured on the bridge. And that's one of the reasons that he created Coca-Cola, was to help with the, the pain that he suffered from that wound. Of course, he had some other problems too. We won't talk about all of that right now. But so that's, it's pretty cool that the last land battle of the Civil War actually happened more or less where we're standing right now. So cool. Hope you like history. Because you're in the right place for it. I only know a little bit. Oh look, river treasure. Oh, I think that phone's toast. Old railroad spike. It's pretty cool. You keep that. I like these. Can't tell. I thought this was a piece of a broken horseshoe at first. I don't know. Let's get on to good stuff. I wonder what this was for. It's pretty cool. It's sticking out of this rock. A couple of those around that I know about hooks sticking out of rocks. Beautiful area down here. We walked down below the bridge, the battle bridge I was telling you about. Well, it's about to be the end of this adventure. We found, uh, I showed you the dam, that was pretty cool, and we've even found a little bit of river treasure. That's new. Uh, we've been hunting around down here probably a couple hours and pretty tired. And I'm soaking wet. So we're going to close this out and I hope you enjoyed the adventure. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Comments are nice too. We'll talk to you later.